Rebecca Traister, All the Single Ladies, Unmarried Women and the Rise of an Independent Nation. This summary of All the Single Ladies, Unmarried Women and the Rise of an Independent Nation by Rebecca Traister explores the complex journey of single women throughout history, providing an insight into the societal and economic struggles they faced. It highlights the societal norms, shifting expectations, and cultural consequences that come with the growing number of single ladies in America. By shedding light on the lives, careers, relationships, and experiences of single women, Traster encourages her readers to rethink the perceptions surrounding unmarried women and explore factors, driving the rise of independent women in contemporary times. Uncovering the Hill Effect Single women in today's society draw less prejudice than in decades past, thanks in part to the impact of the 1991 Anita Hill case. Hill, a law professor, accused her former employer, Clarence Thomas, of sexual harassment as he was being considered for the U.S. Supreme Court. Her status as a single woman was used against her, opponents discredited her as incapable of having healthy relationships with men and suffering from erotomania. The Senate Judiciary Committee, comprising only white men, dismissed her allegations, and Thomas eventually won the Supreme Court appointment. Outrage over the case led to an increase in female representation within the government. The next year, an unusually high number of women ran for Senate seats, with four successfully elected. This marked a significant shift toward empowering women in politics and addressing sociocultural biases against single women. Rise of Independent American Women in early American colonies, women, especially single ones, faced legal and societal hardships that made marriage an essential requirement for survival. Unmarried women had no legal rights to own property and, aside from rare instances of widows inheriting from deceased husbands, depended on their community or family. They were also marginalized and scorned by society, as evident from the term, thornback, used to emphasize the negative perspective on older unmarried women. However, events like the Revolutionary War, inspired radical feminist ideas which started opening up discussions and debates around women's roles. The mid-19th century economic and population boom in the United States further opened social opportunities for women, driving the need for talents like teaching and nursing. This allowed women to support themselves independently, breaking the dependence on husbands or their birth families. Pioneering women like Louisa May Alcott, who remained single throughout her life, demonstrated the growing independence for women by pursuing various professional roles before becoming the beloved novelist known for her works, such as Little Women and Little Men. City life empowers single women. The big city is often perceived as intimidating, particularly for single women venturing there alone. However, urban centers have historically afforded unique opportunities for women to enjoy personal independence, career growth, and a vibrant lifestyle. From the 16th century onwards, cities have provided employment for single women in fields like textiles, domestic work, and secretarial roles. Post-World War II, increasing numbers of women were drawn to city life for economic prosperity, societal advancements, and educational opportunities. Manhattan, for example, transformed the life of Letty Cotton Pogrebin, who excelled in the publishing industry and immersed herself in a bohemian social circle. Today, single women continue to be attracted to cities, seizing the chance to live self-reliant, exhilarating lives and experience social liberties absent in smaller communities. Redefining Soulmate Connections The quest for a soulmate is often simplified to a romantic relationship. However, as modern women increasingly seek strong friendships with other women, an alternative narrative emerges. These powerful connections can rival or even surpass traditional partnerships in terms of emotional support, understanding, and growth. A Minato Sao and an Friedman story is a prime example of this redefinition of a soulmate. After discovering common interests and spending time together, their bond evolved to include genuine emotional support and a drive for each other's personal and professional achievements. Such relationships present women with an alternative to the conventional male-female family unit and demonstrate that soulmates can transcend the boundaries of romance. 
As the number of single women continues to grow, these deep and meaningful friendships play a vital role in shaping modern life and the concept of soulmates. Embracing the single life Many women fear being single due to the perceived loneliness it brings, but numerous single women have found that living independently can be the most fulfilling years of their lives. Rebecca Wiegand Cole, a publisher and journalist, discovered that her social life only truly flourished when she was single, as it led to a vibrant professional life, new friendships, and a network of men who fulfilled various roles in her life. Cole's experience inspired a blog and book about modern dating, called Gaggle. Even for introverted single women, embracing alone time can result in self-discovery and personal growth. Kitty Curtis, a New Jersey hairstylist, realized this after the end of a relationship, she thrived on her own, taking the opportunity to travel and pursue her dreams, creating a fulfilling life that her previous partner did not want to share in. Embracing the single life can lead to immense personal growth and journey of self-discovery, proving that a life without a partner can be rich and satisfying. Empowered Women Shift Dynamics A growing number of single women are taking control of their sex lives, much to the dismay of some men who perceive them as a threat. By embracing sexuality without insecurities, women become less needy in relationships. Frances Kissling's decision to undergo sterilization is an example of a woman asserting her control over her sex life. This transformation, however, can be challenging for partners accustomed to wielding emotional power. The media often portrays sexually liberated women as a threat to societal norms, and the so-called hookup culture on college campuses is cited as a hazardous trend. Contrary to these beliefs, research by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reveals that sexually active teenage girls have decreased from 51 to 43 percent in the past 20 years, indicating that young women today are more responsible about sex than previous generations. Navigating Family and Career The pursuit of higher education and professional careers for women has evolved significantly in recent times. Despite this progress, societal expectations continue to weigh heavily upon modern women who often feel compelled to make difficult choices between work and family life. Prominent figures such as Barbara Walters have openly discussed the sacrifices made to advance in their careers. Although single women, like Janet Napolitano, are sometimes perceived as better positioned to climb the professional ladder, this assumption is rooted in antiquated ideas about their personal lives. To strike a balance between family and career, many successful women, including Senators Kirsten Gillibrand and Amy Klobuchar, as well as Loretta Lynch, choose to delay marriage, ensuring they are established in their field before starting a family. Evidence suggests that this trend is not just limited to a select few, with an increasing percentage of women aged 25 to 34 remaining unmarried as they focus on their careers. Pursuing Gender Equality Despite considerable advancements, men continue to hold the majority of the world's wealth and power. In 2012, only 20 female CEOs were found among America's top 1,000 companies, and in 2014, women made up just 4.8% of Fortune's top-earning CEOs. The gender pay gap persists, with women earning 78 cents for every dollar earned by a man in the same job. While some statistics might indicate progress for women, it's essential to consider the broader social context and the challenges faced by other marginalized groups. For example, single professional women may earn more than men of the same age living in the city, but this result is skewed by the inclusion of poor, immigrant men working for low wages. Additionally, many women rely on underpaid immigrant housekeepers and childcare providers to support their careers. As the fight for gender equality continues, it is crucial not to overlook the struggles of other marginalized populations. In conclusion, Tracers, All the Single Ladies delves into the history and gradual rise of independent unmarried women in American society. The summary elucidates how single women have evolved from a position of social exclusion and economic deprivation, to becoming a powerful and influential force across various domains. Despite some progress and growing influence, gender inequality, traditional expectations, and societal prejudices continue to pose challenges for women. 
Thus, the book highlights the significance of pushing for further change and ensuring that the fight for gender equality benefits not only women in general but all marginalized and underrepresented groups in society as well.